The next thing I'd like to show you is the VMware vCenter 5.1 pre-install check script. This is a brand new PowerCLI script just posted recently, and it's actually a VMware fling. Uh, flings are available from labs.vmware.com. They are VMware engineers' pet projects that they like to demonstrate and just see you know, what the feedback is on them, and perhaps they'll be incorporated into future products from VMware. So the fling that I downloaded is the vCenter 5.1 pre-install check script. This is the web page for the vSphere blog, and it covers the new fling by Alan Renouf. Alan's actually a well-known blogger and author of the book Mastering Power CLI, or co-author of the book, I should say. And this is a script that he apparently wrote or had a major hand in. What it does is it goes out and it checks the following things before you install vCenter 5.1. Checks operating system, Active Directory, time synchronization, DNS, port checks, domain controller checks, vCenter server, authorization checks. There are some system requirements down here that you need to know about. It's relatively simple to do. If we go to the website for the fling, which is actually right here, it's very simple and quick to download. It's a very small Power CLI script. There is a video on the video tab here that Alan created where he shows you how to use the script. I've actually already downloaded it. So let's go over to my PowerCLI prompt. And here at the PowerCLI prompt, I'm just going to run the pre-check v2.ps1 script. I'm going to say I want to run this once. I did already set my PowerShell execution policy to unsigned. That's something you have to do, or at least loosen up the PowerShell execution policy to run scripts that you've downloaded from the internet. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run this on the host name of my vCenter server, which is VC. As of yet, of course, I haven't installed single sign-on, so I'm just going to click Run Checks here. First, it checks to see if the currently logged on user is a member of the administrators group. This is a recommended part of the SSO install. I pass that check. Next, it checks to see if this operating system is a 64-bit operating system as is required for vCenter 5 and vCenter 5.1, and we pass that. There's some information here about time sources. The next check is related to time synchronization. We are a little bit off on that. We didn't quite pass. It's not within the recommended five minutes. That's something you should check out if you didn't pass. If we scroll on down here, we pass the short file name registry key. We pass the host name length key. It tells us we did not pass the IP address to name check. So the VC host name that I have currently configured for this host needs to be mapped to this IP address. That's something I'll go and take care of in just a second before we perform the upgrade. We pass the computer name check, the locale check, the Active Directory local domain check. There's so many things to consider before installing vCenter 5.1, but fortunately this script checks out many of those things to ensure that we don't run into problems. You should run the script and you should try it yourself before you upgrade to vCenter 5.1, but it appears we passed everything except for the IP to DNS mapping check and the time check. So I'll take care of both of those before I start the upgrade. And again, I highly encourage you to try out this script for yourself before you perform your own upgrade. Again, you can find it at labs.vmware.com and it's called the vCenter 5.1 pre-install check script.